my please be real please <laughs> please be real please <laughs> YouTube <laughs> Alright, so boom. Story time. Inuyasha is my favorite anime of all time. In case you were wondering what this means, where Dayasha comes from, if you look at the font, it's literally from Inuyasha. I made it when I was like 14 years old. Inuyasha has been my favorite anime since I was about 14. Um, the reason why it's my favorite anime is because of like it has action, it has love, it has comedy, it has like, it hits every tip that I like want in an anime. Like everything. I used to record the episodes that used to come out on Adult Swim. Like I would wait up until 12 o'clock, put a tape in and record the episodes until they reset. Which they always reset. Much like Dragon Ball, they just always reset. Now, I love Dragon Ball Z, I love like, I love, I'm an anime head. But my number one anime is Inuyasha. I have Inuyasha Wall Scrolls. All the Inuyasha games, the Inuyasha soundtracks. I have like 30 Inuyasha t-shirts. Like, I'm an Inuyasha nut. So if this is real, I'm gonna lose my fucking brain. Like, my brain is gonna jump out my head and find somebody else's ass to plant its body in. Because I just, I can't. Like, I, I would literally lose my mind. I might cry on camera if this is real. Like, if this is real, <laughs> I'm gonna lose my shit, bro. Inuyasha is life. I would, oh my god, I'd react to every episode or every manga, uh, chapter, whatever it is. If it's real, it might be real, but it's called Hanyo, ha, Hanyo no Yashahime. If it's real, oh I'm gonna lose my mind, bro. Look at my wallet, look at my wallet. This is my wallet. <laughs> bro, I... You have no idea how much I would lose my fucking mind if this is real. Like, the character art looks real. It looks like that original, like, manga, sort of, uh, original anime, uh, Inuyasha manga look. Um, you know, I'm, I'm kicking myself in the ass now, because when we were in Japan two months ago, we were in this manga store, and had all this manga, and they had the full, like, manga, uh, series. Uh, for $80, but it was in Japanese like I, I I can't read Japanese But I was like I should just get it anyway because I intend to learn how to before I die I'm gonna be fluent in Japanese so I was like let me get it because then I'd be perfect to practice But I didn't have anywhere like anywhere to stow it because it had been too heavy Like where would I have put it to bring it home? So I was like ah, I'll pass I'll just get a bunch of these figures and then you know I'll be good but now that this broke I'm I'm heartbroken because I should have I should have bought it. The collector in me was like, just get it. And I was like, ah, nah, we still got a long day. Like I came up with excuse after excuse after excuse to not buy it. And I should have bought it. It was only 80 bucks. And it's and it, it was the entire series. And to give you more about my Inuyasha love, right? So I watched every episode of Inuyasha, right? And then when Netflix came out, I rented the discs so I could watch it in Japanese. So it'd be like a different experience. So I watched it that way, right? And then when it ended, I was like, yo, this is bullshit, like, I hate this. Rumiko Takahashi was like, yo, you need to finish the finish Inuyasha in the manga. So, bet, this is before I was even reading manga. Or no, because I, I think I had read Death Note, right? So, I had to finish reading the manga to find out how the story ended. So, I read the manga <laughs> to, to see how the story ended. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know you're like, yo, what do you know about Inuyasha? You're just some, some black dude from the Bronx with a tattoo of Ryuk from Death Note and Frieza on the other side, like, what do you know about Death, uh, Inuyasha? Yo, Inuyasha is my life. Like, <laughs> I know everybody has a guilty pleasure. I'm the type of person that's like super honest. Inuyasha is my favorite anime of all time. And if this is fucking real, I swear I'm gonna lose my head. I'm gonna lose my mind if this is real, dog. If I take you out to the living room, you'll see how much Inuyasha I have. I have Inuyasha everything. I have Inuyasha, one of my um, longtime friends who was once a fan of mine um, and is now a friend, Framed a picture of Inuyasha and Kagome for me like <laughs> like as a gift like here you go like they I have a Tet Saiga I have a real life Tet you know what we just gonna go out there all right so boom so that's Inuyasha that's Inuyasha that's Inuyasha <laughs> that's Inuyasha that's the one I was talking about earlier and then this yeah I remember Julie rocks hard right Ooh, look at Hit him with a wind scar. Hit him with a wind scar. I don't know. <laughs> this is too heavy. Hit him with hit him with a backlash wave. 
Do an animate barrage. How do I do that? Just swing it. <laughs> so yeah, I even bought the games. Like I have the PlayStation game. I have they released the game for the DS. I have that. I have the PS2 game. Um, they were all bad, but I have them. <laughs> they were not good games, but I have them. Uh, the, the one that I really liked was the PlayStation one, though. I was I actually played the hell out of that one. Nobody could touch me in that game, but that game was. <laughs> Time, right? But yeah, like the last Halloween, I cosplayed as human Inuyasha. You can see that here. So, bro, I'm all about this Inuyasha life. I know I, I like this video is longer than it's supposed to be, but just so you know, my hype. The only reason I didn't want to dig out the games is because it's a lot of games I got in here. I have like 300 games in there. I, don't, I just don't want to sift through them to find it. I'm too hyped. I'm too hyped for a rumor right now. I'm too hyped for some character art, and that's it. Like, I'm super hyped, but ah, some concept design, right? I'm stupid fucking hyped for this. I can't. I cannot wait. I can't wait, bro. <laughs> I'm super fucking hyped. I'm, I'm more hyped than I was when I found out Frieza was coming back <laughs> in a movie. Like, I, I'm so hyped. I love Inuyasha. Love Inuyasha. I know I don't look like this, but I could tell you anything in and out about Inuyasha's story. I fucking love Inuyasha. But anyway. I'll see you guys in the next one. We were we were about to film some more Dragon Ball stuff for the channel and for the Patreon. Like we were about to film a lot of stuff, and uh, Julie found the link and posted it on my Facebook. And then next thing you know, mad people started posting to my Facebook this Inuyasha link, and I'm just like, oh my god, because y'all, <laughs> the people who know me already know. And if you've been a fan of mine or a subscriber or a follower of mine for the years that I've been on this channel, then you know. <laughs> I'm all about this Inuyasha. I can't wait. <sighs> anyway, we gotta get back to work. <laughs> so, we'll get back to making these videos for Patreon and, and, and uh, Dragon Ball Abridged and Dragon Ball Z. We'll get back to doing that. Um, yeah, that's, 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 that's all I have to say. I think that's it. I don't think Julie's seen Inuyasha either. Don't play with me, I will fucking Watch every single episode of Inuyasha on this channel. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. <laughs> Y'all be flooded with content. Y'all won't even know what to do with yourself. <laughs> but I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Peace.